Over 42% of American adults have obesity. Obesity is associated with heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Studies have shown that weight loss medications in combination with dieting and increased physical activity help some people lose 10% or more of their body weight after one year. In this video, I'm going to provide an update of all the FDA-approved medications for weight loss. First, I would like to briefly discuss the formula for the Adult Body Mass Index and the classification of weight status. The adult BMI is a person's weight in kilograms divided by the height in meters squared. If you use pounds for weight and inches for height, you need to multiply the final value by 703. People with a BMI between 18.5 to 25 have a healthy weight. People with a BMI between 25 to 30 are overweight. People with a BMI of 30 and above have obesity. The FDA-approved medications for weight loss should be used as an adjunct to a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity. The medications are not recommended during pregnancy and breastfeeding. The first medication is Eli, which is an over-the-counter medication. Eli is indicated for people 18 years and older with a BMI of 25 or above. It should be taken along with a reduced calorie and low-fat diet. Eli contains 60 mg olistat, and it is the only over-the-counter medication approved by FDA for weight loss. It is a lipase inhibitor which decreases fat absorption by 25%. Take one capsule with each meal containing fat. It can be taken one hour before, during, or one hour after each meal. Do not take more than three capsules a day. The side effects include oily spotting, oily stool, flatters with discharge, fecal urgency, frequency, and incontinence, etc. For most people who take ILI, the adverse events last no more than four weeks. Because ILI may reduce the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, people on ILI should take multiple vitamins containing vitamins A, D, E, K, and beta-carotene. ILI costs about $50 a month. All of the other weight loss medications require a prescription. They are indicated for people with a BMI of 30 or above or people with a BMI of 27 or above if they have comorbidities such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes. All of these prescription medications except Xenico make you feel less hungry or full sooner. Xenico contains 120 mg olistat. It is indicated for people 12 years and older. Like Eli, Xenico is a lipase inhibitor and decreases fat absorption. The usage and side effects of Xenico are similar to those of Eli. People on Xenico should also take multiple vitamins containing vitamins A, D, E, K, and beta-carotene. Xenico costs about $700 a month. The next medication is called Adipax P, which contains phentermine. It is indicated for people over the age of 16 years old. The medication should be taken before breakfast. It is a controlled substance and can be addictive. The medication is for short-term use and should not be taken for more than three months. The monthly cost of this medication is between $11 to $70, depending on whether the medication is generic or brand name. The other two oral medications are Contrave and Qsimir. Both medications contain two different drugs. Contrave has the active ingredients of naltrexone and bupropion. Qsimir contains phentermine and topiramate. Both medications are indicated for people 18 years and older, and both require dose titration. Contrave costs over $300 a month, and Qsimir over $400 a month. These two medications are injectables. Saxander is indicated for people 12 years and older. Wigovi is for people 18 years and older. 
both medications require subcutaneous injection and gradual dose titration. Saxander and Wigovi cost over $1,300 a month. The last medication is Insivory. It is indicated for patients six years and older with obesity due to three rare genetic conditions. The medication is injected subcutaneously every day and costs about $10,000 a month. All of the weight loss medications mentioned here require a prescription except for Ally, which is an over-the-counter medication. Different weight loss medications have specific indications and may interact with other drugs. Please consult your physician to determine which medication is the most appropriate for you. Thank you for watching.